Hey guys, it's Adrian Caprice here, and today we're doing a chit chat get ready with me. So I'm showing you guys how I do my makeup, how I like kind of style this bang unit that I have here. Um, so this is the first of this type of content that I'm, you know, presenting <laughs> on my channel. So um, I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoy the content. So, I focus on everything fashion, beauty, health, and fitness. So, if that's something that you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, click that bell notification so you never miss an upload. Now, don't forget to follow me on my socials. I'll leave them down below. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> oh, my brain is sticking out of the bag. Okay, wait. Okay, so you guys already seen the intro of this video. We're gonna do a soft glam type of look. So I'm actually Brett braid up. We're doing a soft glam look today, and I'll be telling you guys all the products that I will be using. I have my list here of things I want to talk about, and then we're gonna get right into it. So so first thing I like to start with is my concealer. So I've already washed my face. I need to put something on my lips. Yeah, let me do that, hold on. I always start out with my concealer first. Some people think it's kind of crazy for me to do that, but I like to do my concealer first, then my foundation, and then pretty much everything else. So yeah. Oh, and I forgot to tell y'all, we doing makeup in here today. So. First thing we're gonna do is take this elf stippling brush. I need to wash it, and then this short, short, this Tarte Shape Tape concealer. Um, let me see if I can. You guys know the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, so we're gonna start with that. So on my list to talk about today, or things to talk about, is um moving to Miami so a lot of people think it's crazy that I just up and moved well not just me me and my boyfriend uh oh I forgot to prime my face what am I talking about me and my boyfriend we just up and moved to Fort Lauderdale or Florida because we just felt like it wasn't enough opportunity in Memphis where we were and also, I didn't want to move back to Nashville. So, Nashville was definitely um, an option. And if you guys don't know, I went to school in Nashville. I went to Ten Tennessee State. The Tennessee State, okay? So, yeah, it just wasn't enough opportunity to me, in my opinion. And also, he felt the same way. And, yeah, so... I'm using this MAC Prep and Prime that I got years ago. So yeah, I'm just gonna use that. And then we're gonna start out with our concealer. Basically, short story, we both felt like we wanted to move and it was literally a split decision of a moment. So we both had just wrote down three cities that we wanted to move to and we picked one the first one was la and just after just some thought la was just too far from our families and stuff like that so we just didn't think that was a good idea and then the second one was miami and then we picked again and it was miami so we was like okay we're going to miami so we went checked out some apartments we came down here i think three times before we actually moved or two i don't know but really liked it and all of the interactions that we were having were really friendly yeah but they were really friendly so we was like we're just gonna stay maybe i should zoom you guys in a little bit more yeah so you guys can really see up close and personal okay but so yeah we just moved um I mean, we talked about it, we contemplated on it, we saved, and we just came down here, we just looked for, for apartments. I mean, we really pretty much manifested what we wanted. And um, yeah, so we knew exactly what we wanted, and then we just 
Well, they just went for it. And honestly, that's all like that you can do is just go for it. Like you don't, how can I put it? Like you can't wait for things to find you. You can't wait for opportunities to find you, if that makes sense. You have to go make your own opportunities. I mean, yes, opportunities will find you, I guess, but you can't wait for that. You know what I'm saying? You just have to go get it. So anything you want, you have to make it happen for yourself and you have to go get it. So I get a lot of questions about that, moving here and stuff like that. And so that's pretty much the story. And then you guys seen in one of the vlogs that when we actually moved here and got our apartment, we moved down here with nothing, absolutely nothing. So, um, and now we have a pretty much 80% furnished apartment almost a year later. I'm not gonna lie though, um, moving in the middle of a pandemic without any furniture, we shouldn't have done that. Cause girl, it took us so much time to get our furniture that I was like, boy, people thought probably think we broke, but <laughs> we was waiting on our furniture, you know? So like it took us a month to get the bed. It took us a couple of months to get a couch, but the couch is a whole nother story. It's just, you know, that wasn't the best decision, but we just didn't know. And if you don't know, just don't know. But I get a lot of questions about Miami. Like, is Miami different? Even from people who actually were born and raised in Miami or raised in Miami, they ask me, like, is it different? Yes, it is different. Man, people out here are, how can I put it? It's very different. People out here are some go-getters. Like, being out here makes me want more. Not saying that being in Tennessee didn't, but being here, you see, like, the Lambos, you see the Bentleys, like it literally becomes a thing, like a normal, like a normalcy. I think that's the word I wanna use. It's normal. Like when you see somebody ride up in a Lamborghini, you like, oh my God, it's nice. When you first get here, but after being here for a while, it's just like, bro, people hear that? It's just, you know, they, they here, they trying to make it, they out here getting it. And it makes you just wanna do the same, so. I like that part of it, but also people are very superficial. Um, like nobody has been superficial to me, but just the whole connotation or the whole, not the connotation, just the whole idea around Miami to me is very superficial. Like everybody down here, you gotta have this, you gotta have thing, and in and in and in and in. It's just like, girl, yeah. But yeah, that's my little steal on that. So yeah. Next, we're gonna do our foundation, and this is the soft matte by Fancy. Girl, you gonna focus? There we go. Um, I use the color. 440 and then in the Tarte Shape Tape, I use the color Deep 53 in. So those are my colors. So I've seen so many people talking about the Ari and Moneybag situation. Um, so basically, if you don't know, Moneybag. <laughs> Ari gifted Moneybag, yo, which is a Memphis rapper. Land for, y'all, I'm out. I'm trying to get it out. It's not clean. Don't tell me I use this foundation up. So basically, Ari gifted her boo some land. I can't remember exactly how much it was, maybe 33 acres, something like that. I don't know, Joe. I really don't know. But there's a lot of controversy around it and I don't understand why. Like people are saying, you don't give nobody that's not your man, something like that and like, See, my, this is my take on it, right? I think regular people need to stay out of rich people business, okay? <laughs> like, I don't really feel no type of way about it because I feel like they have their relationship. Only they know what's going on in their relationship. You know what I'm saying? So to her, she may feel like he put her on, like, he, he put her on to a lot of other things or um, a lot of other money, 
sorry, a lot of other money moves that she didn't know about, or I y'all don't know what's on uh, in their household, in their relationship. So I think that her gifting it to her man, I think that was, I mean, if you got it, what's what's the what's the big deal? I mean, I feel like she obviously has it, right? So what's the big deal? I mean, just like, you know, I'm sure you get to somebody that wasn't your husband a nice gift. I mean, at the end of the day, I think that regardless if they get married or not, he kept her relevant. He kept her on. And maybe that's the way she's looking at it. Like, at the end of the day, he invested in me. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that he invested in her just for clout or for show, but like them being together made her relevant again. Not saying she wasn't relevant, but you know, after her and G her most way, I think that she kinda dwindled out a little bit and then once her and money back money back got together, it just kinda probably tripled her income. I don't know. But I feel like if you got it, what's what's the big deal? And she definitely got it. I don't know. And so the thing about it is you only see what people put on social media. You don't really see, know their real relationship. You don't know what's really going on with them. You don't know. So from outside looking in, you may feel like there was a dumb decision on her part, but in reality, you know what I'm saying? You don't know what's going on in that relationship. So I put on a light layer of this foundation first and then I go back in with some more just in case I need to cover up anything else. And I kind of just blend this foundation into the concealer. So I'm gonna go back in with this concealer because I don't know, I feel like some, for some reason it's doing something funky. Or maybe it's just me. Next thing I'm gonna do is set my face. So I've tried so many different powders, but I always go back to the Ben Nye's Whole Pass powder. I know, this is like old school YouTube, but I think I got it all over me. But this is just what I like. So, just setting. So I typically use a brush and I pat it off and then I set everything with this brush. Cause I just feel like, mm, I just feel like it sets better without you looking like cakey, if that makes sense. So, yeah. I'm gonna go in with an eyebrow pencil from e.l.f. It's just like their elf eyebrow pencil. I'm not too picky on my eyebrow pencils. And in this case, I'm wearing bangs. So I'm not really going to do my eyebrows for real. I'm just going to fill them in. So if you see any spaces in my bangs, you will see a filled in brow. Okay, so I finished my brows off camera and I hate them. I hate them. If I was doing like a middle part, I would just do my brows all the way over, but they're gonna be covered up, so what the heck. Y'all, I really hate my brow. Why did I sh So, um, I'm not an eyeshadow person. I'm not, Oh my kitchen. So I'm not an eyeshadow person, but I am gonna put something on my eyes today. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna start with our crease color. I'm going to use my foundation color. And we're gonna start off with that in the crease. 
I just feel like it gives it a more seamless look. But that's just my opinion. And then, and then with the same fluffy brush, I'm gonna go in with Ginger from the Jackie Ina palette. And then we're gonna go on the lid with edges. And then we're going to add some um, mascara to put for our lashes. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do is probably put on my lashes and my lips. So we're going to go back to the face. We're going to go back to the face and we're going to contour. I'm going to use this um, oldie but goodie, the Black Radiance True Complexion Palette. Do I want to do that? Hello? Hey, I'm on my way. Um, when I get there, just be outside so I can swing it right down the street. Okay. Alright. Alright. I'm trying to get rid of it. I'm actually going to use this Black Radiance um, powder called... It's a press pot powder. It's in the color... Ebony. Actually, no, I'm gonna use the, the child. I keep going back and forth. Which one I'm gonna use? I'm gonna use this one. So, okay, so I just contoured a little bit, but we're gonna go a little deeper. Oh, that's a lot deep. That's a lot deep, huh? That is a lot deep. So, I also had wanted to talk about, which I seen a couple of people talking about the YouTube community and how it has changed over the years. And, oh my God, this is so dark. This is so dark. Anyway, I've seen people talk about it about how the YouTube community has like changed a little bit. And I can agree it has changed. Like one girl basically was saying that nowadays like you know all of the girls look the same. All of the girls like dress the same. And like honestly I agree they do to a certain extent. Like I definitely agree to that. Okay, that's a little dark, but it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, we're gonna fix it. Yeah, I agree, like, some of the girls, like, do look the same, do dress the same, and, like, mm -hmm. And then one girl made a valid point, like, yeah, they might all dress the same and look the same, but that just makes room for, you know, other YouTubers or newer YouTubers to come into the community so i think that's very true so but yeah but man i don't know old youtube used to give me like a feeling i don't know like i used to love old youtube like love old youtube youtube now i feel like hmm, eh. I feel like new YouTube don't really do it for me. This is very like, I don't know. Okay. Plum, you have a lot of black radiance today. Y'all read it. Bro, my neighbors, I think it's my neighbor's kid be running around. I'm gonna use this black radiance blush and warm berry. Y'all, y'all, I really, I used to wear blush. Like if you go back and look at like my old YouTube videos, I used to wear blush back then. And I really don't know why I stopped because it does something to your makeup. I don't know what it does, but it just does something. So the last thing I'm gonna do for my makeup, I'm lying. So I like to 
do this weird thing where I add my molds back on my face. So I have a mold here, which you can still see. And I have a teardrop looking thing here. I also have a mold there. So I just like to put those back on my face because those are my natural features. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is line my lips with this NYX liner and Nespresso. Need to be sharpened, but I'm gonna take these two NYX butter glosses, my favorite combination, like period. So this is the butter gloss. The brown one is in Ginger Snap. So I'll go over the outline in Ginger Snap. And then I go in the center with Madeline. Madeline. Madeline is her name. And I pretty much just block. And then add more if necessary. So I added more because it was necessary. Because it was necessary. Yay. Okay. So the makeup is done. Let me go get my hair. So this is the unit I'm going to put on. I actually cut her and styled her myself. So this is like an old unit that I had. So we're just going to put her on. And I told y'all earlier that this was bangs. So. That's why I'm not too pressed about not liking my. So I'm not too pressed about liking my eyebrows because. I have bangs. Okay, she don't look like much right now. But she gonna give. Just wait. Just wait. Just, just, just wait on it. There we go. Oh y'all, let me, let me fix her. Let me fix her real quick in the mirror, okay? Let me, let me get her together. Cause we've been sitting on a mannequin here for a couple of days, so. Okay, so the hair is pretty much you know straight but i do have some flyaways so i like to take this guys to be and spray it on a brush and just kind of go over the top so this is the completed look i hope you guys enjoyed my chit chat get ready with me um if you have any other topics you guys want me to talk about make sure you leave them in the description down below and like I said, don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in this type of content or fashion content, health, fitness, things like that. And make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to follow me on all of my socials. And that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you guys on the next video.